All right, everyone. Uh, it is nine, just after 9.30 on June 29th. It's Friday, and uh, I've been trying for the last half an hour to get this update video out. Uh, and I really have one, one thing in mind with this video, and, and that is uh, to talk about taking losses in the marketplace. Um, one of the things that is, is so difficult for rookie traders to do is to take losses. When they take a loss, the first thing they want to do is throw out the trading system and go on to something else. And that, that's just not the way professional traders think. You're going to take losses, whether it's due to an unexpected market event, uh, whether it's due just to the, the probabilities of your trading system or a trading mistake. It doesn't matter. Losses are an inevitable part of the game. So I want to talk about uh, the trade that I was talking about last night and some things to take away from it. Uh, so that you can adjust your perhaps the, what you're doing in the future. And this is something that I do uh, when I review trades, winners and losers, uh, to see how I can make my, my trading business more profitable. So I'm looking at the market breaking above here for a momentum move up. Now, there are two areas where I focus on when I review a trade. Uh, the first area that I look, on, look at is the, what I call the trade execution. Uh, if, I, if I took a trade... Um, more on automatic pilot where I set the order ahead of time and I wake up in the morning to see what happens, then this, this is especially useful. Um, if, if it's a trade that I'm observing, uh, meaning I'm sitting in front of the market, I'm watching what's going on, and I'm making my trading decisions, then I go about it in a slightly different way. So what I'm looking at here is uh, I was looking for a, a momentum move up uh, after the market uh, broke through here. And you can see that the market pops up, literally went above that high by about three pips, and then immediately started turning around. Um, I think the, the most important thing that I see on the chart, and I, th I think I was, I was doing the video right about here, I see that the market developed a solid support area. And this is in the, the four hours after I shot the video. So this, this is coming into uh, the Asian session uh, where the market's forming this support, uh, which means that this is going to be an area that the market is going to want to test. It's going to be easy for the market to get there. Uh, so that's one takeaway, is, is that the market forms support uh, higher than I had anticipated, giving uh, uh, an easier ride of taking my stop out. And you can see that the 32-point level, so the, the market was forming support 32 pips below uh, this high here. Now, you can see that the market pops up and then immediately turns around. So um, what, I wanted, what I did was I, I checked the schedule, and you know, there were a couple of news announcements that were coming out of the U.K., they, the, it was UK GDP and current account. Those have been fairly muted as far as moves of late. Uh, but you can see that the, the market took advantage of the announcement and pushed the market down. 